What is going on everybody now? This video is kind of overdue. I meant to make this video a few weeks ago shortly after I made my Zelda Twilight Princess HD discussion video. Because someone left a comment on my video that I actually felt would be a good topic for a video discussion as opposed to me responding with my normal three to four paragraph very long YouTube comment response. So this is going to be a video response to Strike Force 013. Now before I get into the video I just want to say Strike Force you're a longtime subscriber to my channel and you regularly watch a lot of my videos and you comment on a lot of my videos and I just want to say that I really appreciate you doing that. I don't have a lot of subscribers. I don't get a ton of views on most of my videos. So it's just really cool to see that somebody out there really likes my videos enough that they'll regularly watch them and then actually want to participate in a discussion in the comments section of my video. It's just really cool. I don't get that very often so it's just nice it's nice to see when it does actually happen. So I really appreciate your support and yeah, so <laughs> All right. Strike Force, actually, we were going back and forth on my Nintendo Twilight Princess video, and we were discussing Nintendo, and Strike Force actually made a comment that I actually felt would be a good topic, video topic here. So, Strike Force basically said that, you know, at times I'm wondering if we are expecting too much from Nintendo. And I saw that, and I was thinking about it, and I'm like, you know, that's an interesting discussion. But, a very easy answer, at least from my side. Are we expecting too much from Nintendo? No. As a matter of fact, we should be expecting more from Nintendo. Nintendo was once the video game industry, the entire video game industry at one point. They had so much clout, so much power, so much name recognition, that... Parents who were clueless about video games back in the 80s and 90s referred to pretty much every video game, no matter what platform it was on, as a Nintendo game. That shows you how much well-known Nintendo was back then. And they have really since fallen from grace due to many, many, many poor decisions on their part. And one of the many reasons why they're in the position they are in today is actually because of that mindset. Because there are some people who have that mindset that, you know, we are, we're expecting too much from Nintendo. We shouldn't expect a lot from Nintendo. So, while they are making some poor decisions, I don't expect that much from them, so it's not that big of a deal. No! No! We should be holding Nintendo's feet to the fire every single time they make a very, very bad decision. And you know, maybe if people did this many years ago, maybe, just maybe, Nintendo wouldn't be in the rut they're in right now. Now, I'm not saying that this is the only reason why Nintendo is in their position. There are actually many reasons, but this is just one of those reasons because, unfortunately, a lot of people have this mindset. And they don't really hold Nintendo to these high standards, when in fact, they should. I mean, I can understand if Nintendo was doing their own thing. They were off by the wayside, just making their own products, not really bothering anybody. You know, I could somewhat understand why people wouldn't expect a lot from them. But Nintendo is out there to compete. They may not act like it, but they actually want to compete with Sony and Microsoft. That's why they still attend places like E3. That's why they still go to places like the Game Awards. They still throw their hat into this console war ring. And guess what? From me, as long as Nintendo keeps continuing to throw their hat in that ring and compete with Sony and Microsoft, I'm going to hold them to the same standards that I hold Sony and Microsoft to. I mean, I am. If And they act like they're the best. They've had several interviews where they subtly talk about how they are simply better than Sony and Microsoft. They will say things like, oh, our games are magical. They are one-of-a-kind experiences, acting like you can't get any of that on Sony and Microsoft. 
which really isn't true. But be that as it may, as long as they keep doing that, I'm going to hold them to the same standards. Now, you also mention here that Nintendo portrays, portrays themselves as a children-focused company and that the only adult games that are on the Wii U are made from third parties. You also make an analogy that it's like we're expecting a real car from a Fisher Price to appeal to an older crowd, and that's never going to happen. I understand what you're talking about, but there's a problem with your analogy there. While Nintendo is a children-focused gaming company at the moment, actually, you know what, they actually have been the whole time, so forget I said that. While they are that, their products are not made and created just for children. Fisher Price products are created and made just for children. Real cars, automobiles, are made and created specifically for adults. It's not really the same thing. Those two products are made specifically for certain target ages. Whereas Nintendo and any video game console, quite frankly, is made for everybody. So, while Nintendo is mostly focusing on families and children, their product is for everyone. And... If they expect everyone to buy said console, which they do because they want people to buy it, then they have to appeal to everybody, and unfortunately they're not. Now, I'm not sitting here saying, oh, we need more mature games on the Wii U. No. We just need more games. We need a bigger variety of games. Whether it's third party or not, we need more games to play. And I, you also mentioned that we grow older, we leave Mario and other franchises behind. I'm, I have no problem with Nintendo still making old franchises like Mario, but they can continue. They can make old franchises, but still make new franchises. They used to do that back in the day on the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo 64. They did that, and they sh can continue to do that, and they should continue to do that, but they're not because they're complacent in their strategy. They'll continue to make the same games over and over, because people won't hold them to that high standard. Which is why, I'm sorry, Strike Force, but we should be expecting a lot more from Nintendo. And maybe if more people did this, maybe there'd be a slight chance Nintendo could turn around here. So, we'll never know if that ever happens. So, alright, that's about it. Please let me know what you think. And once again, Strike Force. I always appreciate your support, and let me know what you think about this video. So, till next time, have a good one.